Welcome to the Collective Arcana, a channel all about tabletop gaming. Today I want to go over some tips for new spellcasters. There's a lot to organize and keep track of, so here are a couple of things I do to keep my spells straight. I play both a spontaneous caster in one game and a prepared caster in another, so I'm going to go over what I use for each. For either type of caster, I recommend printing out your spells. There's nothing worse than when you're in a game and somebody casts a spell and they don't have any idea how it actually works. Um, and some spells are kind of lengthy and complicated, so you might not have them all memorized. There's a website called thegm.org that lets you plug in your spells and you can print these cards up. And they are a lifesaver. I've been doing this since day one and I still look at these every single game. This website doesn't have every single spell, but it does have an option for custom spell cards, so you can just uh, copy straight from the SRD if you want to just copy and paste your spell in there. I'll put a link down below in case you want to check it out. It's free. Um, I've used it for every spell I've gotten so far. For my prepared caster, I wanted to actually use spell cards that I could pull out of a three ring binder and just have out the, the spells I've had prepared for each game. So that was kind of hard to find because I wanted a nice notebook. I didn't want just some three ring binder. I like the novelty of, of fancy notebooks. And I found this one on Amazon. Um, and I'll put that in the description too because I actually bought two of these because they're so cute. But they're three ring and you can get the refill paper. So even after the game is over, I can always just uh, start a whole new fresh journal with the same purchase so so here you can see uh, I have a witch and so I have her hex list here on the front page and it's just good to look over on I have these pretty memorized now so this pretty much just stays in here um, but then I organized the spells and all I did was I cut I cut these papers in half and I hand wrote all of the the spell details on these little half sheets, which is the hard way to do it. Um, you could, like we talked about before, just print up these spell cards and put whole, like get a hole puncher and put them in the binder that way. But I kind of just wanted the novelty of a handwritten spell book because it's a fun keepsake when the game is over. So I have all of my first level spells on the top and then second, and then I made little bookmarks for third and fourth, fifth and sixth, all the way up to nine. And basically what I do is, uh, if I prepare more than one, I just take a pencil and I mark off how many I have for the day. Um, but there's some other options with that, which I'm gonna talk about next. Also in the back of this notebook, I made this little envelope and all I did was like cut a half a sheet and tape it just to make a little pouch. And I keep all my items in here. And that way, if they come up and I need to see the specifics on them, I have them ready to go. And they're all neatly organized in the back here. Um, so, for example, I have this item that lets me uh, recall a spell once a day. So I can have this out and I keep it out in front of me while I'm playing. And then if I use it, I just tuck it back in my notebook and I know it's gone for the day. So this little spell book is pretty handy for um, for your prepared casters. This is how I track my spells on my spontaneous caster, but I actually have a card like this for the witch as well. Um, that card is more uh, about the HP, um, hexes, wand charges, that kind of thing. Um, but for the spontaneous caster, I have them marked off here and I can just mark as I go. So what I did on this is I got these um, self-sealing laminate sheets so you don't need like an actual laminator. They're just big stickers basically. Um, and then I use these uh, wet erase. So they're not, you could use dry erase too of course. These are just a little uh, nicer because when you hit, if you hit it with your hand it won't like, automatically rub off. It's kind of like what they used on the projectors back in the 90s. So yeah, I can just mark off spells as I go. And then when the game is over, I can just erase it. And then on the back, you know, I just put my HP. So as I go down, 
I can keep track of my HP on the back of it. And on this card, you know, I have my count of spells I can take for the day or use for the day. I have my arcane pool, wand charges, um, and then just some some little notes about my character specifically. So these are much different looking cards for each of my characters, but um, I have my HP and then HP with visualization of the body, um, my AC and then my AC with shield. So you can tailor it to however you need. The things that you look for the most on your on your character sheet is just good for a quick cheat sheet reference. I also put some of my more used uh, skill points. Um, these change a lot every time I level because I usually dump points in these. And you know, spe new special items I haven't quite gotten the hang of yet. Um, I just got these boots of speed and I keep forgetting I have them so I wrote that on there. Um, so this is a really great way to keep track of your spontaneous caster but also just a cheat sheet for any type of character really. And the reason I wanted to do this video was because I noticed in the forums and groups and stuff um, a lot of new players who are spellcasters wanted some tips on how to, to keep track of everything so I just want to do a quick video on it. Um, I'd love to hear how you keep track of your spells because I'm open to new ideas for my own play or for my own characters. I hope you like this video. Uh, give us a like and subscribe. And as always, welcome to the collective, and we hope to see you next time.